welcome back to the vlog. I'm in New York. I've actually been in New York for a couple days and I just remembered I brought my vlog camera with me. How are we all doing? It's 2023. Well, I tell myself I don't miss living in New York, but um, that is lying. And I just got home from my shoot for the day and I ordered myself a spicy tuna cardo. Sit in the bed and I'll catch you up on what's been happening. Oh, why are we Zoom? Please. It wouldn't be me without a little treat for after. This is the life I always dream. Oh, oh my goodness. It's my thread up order. So happy to introduce today's sponsor for today's video. And this video is sponsored by ThreadUp. ThreadUp is an online thrift store, so it's secondhand clothes that you can shop online. They also have a really fun new feature where you can shop my link. Um, it looks a little bit like this. You can find everything that I bought and similar items still available. I also have a discount code later on and it's even better than the usual one. Yes, I am that impatient that I ordered my ThreadUp order to my hotel so that I would get it while I was here. Let's do a try on after I finish my spicy tuna cardo. These little polka dot boxes bring me so much joy. And first thing I got is the Zara pleated midi skirt. I put you more in the middle so you can see. I really have been in my Carrie Bradshaw Sex in the City era recently. I even provide you with prices. It was only $22. I love it. I feel so sophisticated. I got some shoes. When I'm shopping on ThreadUp, I basically like to build a whole look. So I got these really cute little coach kitten heels, which were $66. And then this little Abercrombie bodysuit, which was only $18. And then I have a whole new outfit. That's my little hack for how I like to shop on there just because there's so much stuff and it keeps me focused on what I want. Also go with the skirt, I got this little tube top. Top is such a basic, like everybody needs one. How did I not own one until right now? It, the brand is Glassons, it was $12.99. And then if you really want to get preppy, I got this sweater. I just really love a knit sweater and a ski lodge vibe. I do think it looks really cute with the skirt. This one was $42. Oh, another skirt. Maybe it's because I knew I was coming to New York and I just wanted to be Carrie Bradshaw. I think I own one midi skirt and then I got two. <laughs> I love the 50s vibe. But this one is Uniqlo and it was $23.99. She does it again. Okay, I went fancy for my last two things. So I picked out these Ferragamo like loafer pumps. Well, they were $98, so they weren't cheap, but it's still like a 90% price reduction on new. They're just like so classic. And then to go with it, this Ralph Lauren dress, it was only $68. You're kidding, but with the little loafer too. I, I made a mess. I do have a code with ThreadUp. It is Maddie35. I'm going to put it right here. Okay, I have a meeting right now. We got to run. Hey, uh, I said I was going to a meeting and I'd be right back and I was not right back. It's the next day. I forgot to charge my battery for this thing. This is my last day in New York. I'm still working on the vlogging thing. I got back from my meeting and literally did nothing. I had Shake Jack for dinner and watched that new zombie show, The Last of Us. I don't know, Andrew was obsessed with it and he wants to watch it together. It's a little bit on the violent side for me, but I'll keep trying. And then I slept for literally 12 hours. It's like very much raining today. Well, uh, let's assess our options. I think I'll wear my new thread up sweater and I'll do it. My pajama jeans. These are very polarizing. Some people think they're genius and some people hate them. They're like silk pants that look like jeans. I personally love them because I'm a jeans hater for life and they feel like pajamas. I need a bra with this, don't I? They don't want me to show up with bra lines, so this sweater it is. And then I got this new coat from Mango on sale while I was here. I don't think we have mango in LA, but obviously because I grew up in Europe, I'm a big mango stan. Look how cozy. I'm gonna do my Uggs and then I have no makeup, clean hair. Let's go. This is easily the best snack table I have ever seen. Okay, just keeps going. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Okay, and I am home for my second shoot day. We are wrapped. I am about 18 hours away from having to fly to Paris and I still don't even know if I'm going. So, you know, sounds about right for me. <sighs> I did. I did treat myself to a bueno to take home. I think I'm just gonna watch Gossip Girl in my lovely hotel bed and maybe go out. <gasps> and I tell you about the evening that I just had. So I go to the mini bar, right? That I've been using for the last like three days for like waters. This bottle of Whispering Angel. And I thought, oh, that might be nice to celebrate the end of this job. You know, I'll have myself a glass of wine while I watch Gossip Girl. But I'll check how much it costs first. Whispering Angel's $24. I figured it's a half bottle, maybe 15. Maybe they upcharge it because it's a hotel, 30 bucks. $70, $70. So I'm like, okay, I'll go and pick up my dinner instead of ordering in and I'll pick up a bottle of wine. Um, it is absolutely catastrophic out there. Um, I'm sure you will hear thunder in, during this monologue. So I pick up my food, I'm walking home. I'll collect the wine. I was 0.1 miles away from my hotel. 0.1, 0.1, I was outside mm, three minutes. 
In the time that it took me to walk from the restaurant to the bodega, the paper bag that my food came in had like 90% disintegrated. Um, and I take the wine, uh, the entire thing, gone. To the sidewalk, not only my wine, but also all of my food. But yeah, that's what I get for trying to save a dollar. That was the worst 10 minutes I've ever had in my whole life. I looked like a rat. I had to blow dry my hair. Oh, and I don't have a knife and fork. It happened again. I don't have anything to eat my pasta with. It's been a solid 25 minutes since I asked the front desk if they could bring some up um, because they wouldn't give any to me. I, when I went down there, they said I had to call it through room service, which means I'm going to have to tip the guy just to bring me a knife and fork. Failed you. I'm already back in LA. There's Murph. I would have vlogged the flight back home, but I put my camera in my check luggage. So um, you didn't get to see my little meals and mint. <laughs> But I think this is going to be the conclusion of the vlog. Thank you so much to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. Don't forget I have a little code, it's maddie35, and I have my shop front linked um, where you can see everything I bought and similar things. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching. I will be back very soon.